10th anniversary of the September 11 terrorist attacks. Today we are gathered here to honor members those who died in the attacks, as well as the members of our armed forces who have died fighting the war on terrorism. Please rise for the playing of our national anthem as sung by the PCOM Palmonics. We watched war so gallantly streaming. And my name is Second Lieutenant Brian Cantor, and I'm a United States Army officer. Hello, my name is Second Lieutenant Nam Nguyen. I'm an officer of the United States Air Force. My name is Second Lieutenant James Latronica, and I am an officer in the United States Army. To me, being a military position means giving our soldiers and Marines in the ground the confidence uh, when they go into battle that if they get hit, if they get injured, that they have the best health care system in the world behind them. So being a military there. position would allow me to help serve our country and protect those who sacrifice so much to protect our country, as well as help those who are injured in the process. I believe it gives me a very unique opportunity to use the skills uh, that I'm learning here at PCOM in being the best position I can be. Uh, so I'm very proud to be part of that system to help support them and bring them back to their uh, normal quality of life after they serve their country. To me, if I can help anyone who is a part of that process just to come out with a better future, it makes me very happy. In addition to having the opportunity to serve my country and, and more importantly, uh, serve those and heal those who are injured in the line of duty. In Lieutenant Spiker deployed with the Black Lions, a VF-213, on board the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt to fly missions in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Lieutenant Spiker logged 237 combat hours providing close air support to coalition troops on the ground. In 2007, Lieutenant Spiker reported to the Office of Naval Intelligence as a Strike Fighter Tactics and Platforms Analyst. In 2010, Lieutenant Spiker reported to the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine and began his training as an osteopathic physician. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Spiker. Before that, when I was in my squadron, we performed a missing man formation flight up the Hudson River for some firefighters who requested it. And I just remember looking out the right side of my jet, looking down at that crater in the ground with the construction going on. It's never been so quiet in an aircraft before. That image was burnt into my memory forever. And these were my memories. They were sad. And that's what this school is really all about, is to produce people, DOs, PAs, psychologists, etc. And that's why our faculty and staff are here, to put out such selfless people. So...